Hi everyone! In this video, you're going to discover the difference between containers and virtual machines. My name is Lauren and this channel is all about showing you how to become a highly paid IT pro fast. Let's get started. Virtualization is the process by which you can virtualize and represent a system resource, such as CPU, memory, file system, disk, I.O., and networking as multiple resources. Operating system virtualization enables software to run in a predictable way when moved between different server environments. But how can you run these isolated systems on a single server or host system? Well, containers can provide an easy way to do that. This video will explain what is a container and what is the difference between containers and virtual machines, VMs. What is a container? A container is a lightweight package of software with all dependencies included. Software dependencies are code, APIs, system libraries, external third-party code packages, runtime configuration, and other operating system level applications that you need to execute within the contained software application. All dependencies of a container often exist in stack levels on top of the host operating system. A container can run on any host operating system. So, the container has to grant its own isolated share of operating system resources at runtime, like CPU time, memory, file system, disk, I.O., and networking. What is a virtual machine? VMs were designed to run software on top of physical servers to emulate their hardware system. With increases in server processing power and capacity, applications can now exploit the increasing availability in system resources. Thus, we can define a VM as a heavy software package that can provide a complete emulation of low-level resources like CPU, memory, file system, disk, I.O., and networking. What is a VM monitor? A virtual machine monitor is software that can create and manage VMs. It is also known as a hypervisor. VM monitors exist between the hardware and the virtual machine to essentially virtualize the server. A unique guest operating system runs within each virtual machine. VMs with different operating systems run on the same physical server. For example, Linux VM, Unix VM, and Windows VM can exist alongside each other. Each VM may be many gigabytes in size and have its own isolated libraries, binaries, and applications. Binaries. Binaries are executable or non-text files made up of ones and zeros that are used by the processor to execute a program. Libraries. Libraries are pre-written code that is used by a program to do a customized function. The most common examples of libraries are APIs, or system calls, which are usually provided by operating systems. Kernels. Kernels are the main functions of the OS. It is the core programming that controls all other parts of the operating system. Containers versus VMs. What's the difference? Containers and VMs are very similar technologies in terms of their goals and resource virtualization. They both distribute application software in a repeatable, isolated package. Where they differ is in how much of the hardware stack they attempt to virtualize. The main difference between containers and VMs is that VMs simulate the entire machine and operating system. This means VMs virtualize an entire machine down to the hardware layers. Thus, VMs simulate CPU, memory, file system, disk I.O., and networking resources. In contrast, containers only virtualize the user space of an existing operating system. So, containers virtualize software layers above the operating system level. Containers are lightweight, while VMs are heavyweight. A container is only megabytes in size and takes seconds to start, while a VM is gigabytes in size and takes longer to start. Containers can be used in an existing host operating system. 
Containers exist on top of a physical server and the host operating system. Containers share the host operating system kernel in addition to the libraries and binaries, which are usually read-only. Another advantage of containers is reducing management overhead, because they share a common operating system. This means only a single operating system requires feeding and care for bug fixes, patches, etc. Even though there are many differences between virtual machines and containers, the main difference is that containers enable you to virtualize an operating system for multiple workloads to run on a single operating system instance. Whereas in VMs, you can virtualize the hardware to run multiple operating system instances. There are many advantages that make containers a good tool to help streamline software development. Portability, speed, and agility are examples of such advantages. What are the benefits of containers? Spin-ups are faster, management of system resources is reduced, smaller size, many containers can be hosted by one physical machine, security updates are reduced and simplified, less code is required to migrate, transfer, and upload workloads, and extremely useful for DevOps efficiency and scaling for multiple code bases. What are the benefits of VMs? You can run different operating systems on one physical server. All operating system resources are available to apps. Well-established functionality. Robust management tools. Well-known security tools and controls. And cost savings if you compare it to running multiple individual physical machines. Who are the popular container providers? Docker, the most popular and widely used container runtime. It provides Docker Hub as a giant public repository of popular containerized software applications. Linux containers, LXC. LXC is considered a component of an open source Linux container runtime system. Linux containers offer a vendor neutral open source container runtime. You can isolate operating system level processes from each other using LXC. CRI-O Many companies have collaborated to develop CRI-O as an emerging open source container runtime standard. They have optimized CRI-O specifications for the Kubernetes container management system. RKT RKT is a container system that focuses on security. RKT containers allow only secure container functionality. Otherwise, you have to enable insecure features explicitly. Who are the popular VM providers? VirtualBox. VirtualBox is a free and open source VM provider designed as an x86 architecture emulation system. It is owned by Oracle, VMware. VMware is a publicly traded IT company that provides a utility called a hypervisor that can deploy and manage multiple VMs. Kimu. Kimu supports any generic hardware architecture, so it is considered the most robust hardware emulation VM option. Microsoft Hyper-V. Microsoft Hyper-V is a hardware architecture emulation system developed by Microsoft. Check out the video on the right for more content to help you develop your IT career.